Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be talking about tips that you should know when taking the Disney Cruise. So we're just going to jump right into it, hence why I have on the happy ears for the happy place. So today we're going to talk about the Disney magic. Disney does have other cruises, but we only attended the Disney magic. We actually took a trip the ending of last year. So our cruise debunked or departed from Miami on December 24th. So it was Christmas Eve. It was their very merry Christmas uh, themed boat so we departed December 24th and then we came back on December 29th so was that a beautiful cruise of course it was will I take that cruise again I probably would um we had the best time of our lives especially since it's a lot coming from somebody where our family that was our first time actually going on a cruise so for my first time cruise ever it was the best thing ever, hands down, and I'll tell you why. So the first things that you should know about the cruise is the staterooms. So they have different type of staterooms. We had a stateroom with the ocean view, but the small ocean view. So some of them have balconies, and then some of them just have the view from the window. We just had the view from the window. We didn't have a balcony. Uh, that would be something that I will change the next time we do plan on attending a Disney cruise. I probably will get the stateroom with the balcony only because it's much more room than the one that we had before which for me I mean state rooms I guess all state rooms are kind of small depending on how many were a family of three so I mean me being used to a lot of space and then having a small state room it was sort of kind of it took some getting used to but for the fact that we we're on the cruise for five days or whatever um it was okay. It wasn't a deal breaker for me. We actually had room. Uh, what I did like is the toilet and the shower were separated. So that was one of the other major things that I liked about the bathroom because just imagine because it's a small state room. If somebody in your party is going to the bathroom and then they just so happen to have to take the number two and then you have to take a shower, then it's all stuck in the same place and that's a no-go for me. So I was happy to know that the toilet and the shower were separated. Another thing that I did like about it was that the stateroom did have cable. So it wouldn't have your typical like HBO channels and different stuff like that. But it did have kid friendly channels and family friendly channels. So any Marvel movie you could think of, they probably played it on the ship. Um, action movies. So we had channels, of course, the Disney Channel, Disney XD. It is a Disney cruise, so they will have disney channels on the tv for you in your state room but what i liked about it is like any marvel movie we could think of it was playing on the ship so when we weren't in our um doing the activities on the ship we were able to enjoy a good movie inside the state room another thing i will tell you to enjoy while you're on the trip is food now i didn't think um a lot of people told me prior to getting on the cruise was that some people enjoy the food that's on cruise ships. Some people don't enjoy the food. I got different feedbacks from people that actually went on the Disney cruise versus other cruises. I will tell you the food is phenomenal. Me being a foodie, I think that was one of the best things of the trip. I mean, diet will go out the window. Literally, they had an ice cream station and the kids will love that part. They have an ice cream bar that's open 24 hours. Like it closes. I don't think it's open 24 hours. I do apologize. It closes at midnight. So literally, if you needed a late night snack, you can just go up to the deck, get ice cream and you're good to go. Um, also, all the food in the cruise is all inclusive. So a lot of people I do know complain because the Disney cruise is pricey. But to me, one, one of the biggest things uh, that I did enjoy was that you don't have to pay the full price up front. You do have 90 days until you depart to pay off your balance. So that's also a good thing. We planned way ahead of time. So it was, you didn't feel the big hit all at once. Another thing was that um, it's all inclusive aside from alcoholic beverages and water which um when I get to my tips on what you should pack and what you should do prior to going on the cruise um water is not included but all soda beverages all the foods excluding um one of the specialty restaurants which is paleo on that cruise it was just one restaurant uh, that wasn't included which some of the people that I did know that attended that restaurant they told me the food that was all around the ship was better than the restaurant so 
I didn't miss anything. But for the most part, all the food on the ship is free. So take advantage of it. Literally, I challenged myself to try things that I wouldn't eat on a regular basis. And I am happy I did that. Um, I think me and my husband did the same thing. And he had no complaints about his food. Me either. Uh, the menu is very kid friendly. Um, the adults have their cuisine which it's very much so you would probably get it at a five-star restaurant like things that i never even thought of lamb chops they had steak one night um anything that you can possibly think of they have it on the ship and they have kid-friendly meals and then the waitresses are phenomenal when you first get on the boat uh you do have a for lack of a better word, you have like a, a person that cleans your room. You have that one person that's assigned to you. And you also have the wait the waitress, the head waitress. You have another waiter that is assigned to you and your family. Now, one of the things that I did also love about the ship is that you have like an assigned family with you. So my family is a family of three. And we also sat with another family. They were a family of four, five uh, two kids and it was three adults. I mean, I guess for you, if you don't mesh well with that family, it's probably something that you wouldn't like to do. But for us, we looked at the family was super nice. Their son was the same age as our son and they just so happened to get along. So it was very, very nice for us, a very nice experience. And we like the fact that we sit with them every night. So you don't sit with a different family every night. You sit with your one assigned family every night. And then every night you are in a different restaurant. So there were, hmm, I want to say about four restaurants that we alternated from. And then we ended our trip in the first restaurant that we started at. But every night it's a different menu and it's something different. You can look up that menu ahead of time. But like I said, uh, we just looked up. We had a great family that we had to sit with with dinner. And then our uh, waiter and waitress they were phenomenal when it came to picking out the wine choice, the food choice. They were just awesome. Like I told them, if I had to choose, I wish we had an option where we can choose um, the people that we could either sit with as well as the waitresses and waiters because I would choose them all over again when I tell you. To me, that trip was not a waste of money. It was literally everything we could possibly ask for and more to the point where my son did not want to leave the boat. Well, what kid would want to leave the boat? But... We didn't want to leave the boat. Him and I both, we didn't want vacation to be over with. But for the most part, it's a great experience. But some things that I didn't know prior to going, um, I think we literally started to look up tips on YouTube literally a day before it was time for us to go, which was my fault. We did have a lot of things going on at that time, so I didn't have time to pre-plan. I wish I would have looked at those videos prior to going, but if you stumble across this video and you're watching it prior to booking your trip, then you have a better head start than me. Some tips that I will tell you is tip number one, bring Ziploc bags. The reason why I say bring Ziploc bags on top of if you already, when you travel, you bring Ziploc bags is because... For the most part, aside from hygiene reasons why you would bring a Ziploc bag to put your wet clothes or whatever it may be in it, like I said, even though the food is free all across the boat, sometimes if your kid is in the pool or if you're going to different places, some of the restaurants do shut down on time and room service is free. I repeat, room service is free, but... Um, there are certain things on the room service menu that is not free. So if sometimes you just want a snack or if your kids have something at one of the restaurants that they really, really like, you can just order it, put it in the Ziploc bag and hold it for them for later. So that was something that we would do because there was times, especially when we, um, docked in different islands, our ship actually went to Cozumel, Mexico, and we also did Disney's Castaway K. Now... At Disney's Castaway K, they do have food. They do have a barbecue, but to me, the food that was on the ship was better than Castaway K. And Castaway K is in the Bahamas, I will tell you. If you're a seafood lover like me, they have no seafood on the island. I repeat, don't look for conch because you won't find it there. That was the first thing I asked when I hit the island because I'm like, look, we're on an extension of the Bahamas. Everybody that I know said the Bahamas has the best type of kunk ever. So I was on the hunt for kunk and 
to my surprise and I was so very sad but there's no kunk on the island so Disney if you're watching I don't know if there is you know something that you could do about it but for the adults you may want to sort of kind of offer that because I was looking for that and that was something that I couldn't find but um also when we docked in Cozumel Mexico where we did our excursion which I'll get into the excursion later in my experience with that but where we did our excursion the food to me wasn't the best um I think my son and my husband would agree it wasn't what we expected I mean I do like all forms of food again I said like before I'm a foodie and of course I'm from Miami so y'all know there is literally every type of ethnicity in Miami and I literally eat all those types of food there's no food that I don't like um so yeah, we went there and I thought I would possibly taste authentic Mexican food, which I love Mexican food. So I was like, oh yeah, it's a plus. We're in Mexico, I'm going to get authentic tacos, tequeños, you know, different things of that sort. And no, that's not what I got. Um, we did do a resort. It was like a beach day. Uh, the big plus about the beach day for the parents that are watching this on that excursion, if they do have it when you book this trip, uh, the drinks were free. The alcoholic beverages in Cozumel, Mexico was free. So margaritas, daiquiris, anything you can think of while you're on the beach, you will get them for free. There's no limit. There's no minimum. There's no maximums. You could literally drink margaritas all day long. That's not what I did, I promise. But you could do it. Uh, the only thing that they ask for is a tip. And it's up to you how much you want to tip your person who is giving you your margaritas. But for the most part on that excursion you pay for it when you pay for your excursion and that excursion is booked through disney themselves um if i were you i wouldn't book with um any other outside source i just personally don't trust it um especially being in a different country uh to make sure that you want to get on the boat back on time it's just safer that way in my opinion uh because while we were on the beach even though we we're very relaxed having a great time because they are connected to Disney and I believe there was other cruise lines there. I believe they did a call for Carnival. They did a call for Norwegian and I believe this other ship. I don't remember their name, but for the most part, they have a great connection with the ships that book through them. So when you're there, they'll have call times. Hey, this is the first call time. It's time for you to dock because you have this dock uh, time. So get back on the bus da, 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 for that sort so you don't have to worry about basically being late or being left in another country so that to me is the best part safety wise just so one you don't get left because they will leave you I have heard of people getting left so they will leave you one and then for two it's just for a peace of mind you don't want to pay for something or get lost somewhere where you don't know where you're going especially us we don't speak Spanish that very well I mean we know a little bit but for the most part we would not be able to talk to somebody to get ourselves back to where we needed to go and the beach was about I want to say 20 15 to 20 minutes from where we docked so yeah there was no reason for us to try to book an excursion with somebody else when there was no way for us to communicate to get back so for the most part if you're booking excursions make sure you book it through disney they have a great uh, list of things that you could do that was just the the one that was more family friendly for us because there is an age limit if you have smaller kids like they can't go jet skiing they can't go um parasailing and different things of that sort so you want to just make sure whatever excursion you book it's to your family's liking and um the excursion weren't that pricey I want to say for the most part I thought what we spent on the excursion was a good amount of money it was nice it was worth it the only thing I would say is the food was the food was a bust for me it was a no I mean uh, I don't think we even filled up by the time we got on the ship we were happy that we literally had time to wash up and go to dinner because we were hungry. But for the most part, everything else, we loved it in Mexico. Um, the only negative thing, and I wouldn't say it's really negative, but the only thing that I didn't like and I probably would uh, change in reference to my trip in Mexico was that you had a tour guide to get you to the beach. So we had a tour guide that walked us to our bus and then our bus took us to the beach. They give you a call time, you get back on the bus, and then the bus takes you back to the mall where it's like a shopping plaza where tourists go, and then you walk back to the boat. 
Now, when we got back on the bus to go back to the boat, we did not have a tour guide to guide us back. So if you are horrible at directions or somebody in your party didn't pay attention to how to maneuver through that mall to get back to the bus, then you're screwed. Like... Yeah, you're screwed. Um, lucky for us, we do pay attention. And then it's a lot of us that were going the same place. We got all got off from the same ship. So, I mean, it was basically follow the leader. But we remembered where we were going just because um, we pay attention to stuff like that. But for the most part, that was the only thing that I didn't like aside from the food that was on the beach. I didn't like the fact that we didn't have a tour guide to guide us back to the boat. Of course, um, they were probably limited to the amount of people that they had or maybe they had another tour. I'm not sure. It wasn't explained to us. I think I would have preferred if it was explained to me at the beginning that, hey, you know, you're going to have a tour guide that takes you to the bus and to the beach. But on your way back, you have to kind of guide yourself back. Then I would have been OK because I knew ahead of time. But yeah, the fact that it wasn't explained to me ahead of time and then we sort of kind of had to figure life out. Mm, I wasn't too happy about that, but for the most part, it didn't damper my trip. We still had a good time in Mexico. So the next place that we went to, well, the next day we were out at sea. So again, the ship has a lot of things on the on the on the boat that you could do. Like literally, there was no down time whatsoever. Me, I thought I was on vacation. I wanted to lay out and go to sleep, but. The type of family I have, my son and my husband did not let that happen. They wanted to do everything that was on the ship. And I'm sort of kind of glad they did make me do that. Because when you spend that type of money to go on vacation, you don't want to sleep your entire way through it. You do want to enjoy the things that are on the boat. A plus that I will say about the ship, aside from the food, um, the pool, and all the rest of the stuff that they do. The good thing about it, which shocked me, was that... Any new movie that's out that's Disney related that Disney owns. So lucky for us when the new Star Wars movie dropped, I believe it had dropped. Um, don't quote me on this, but I knew it was recent. It had recently just dropped in theaters. They played it on the ship. So we didn't have to necessarily pay in a theater to go watch it because they were showing it on the ship. So we found out from one of the ship workers that, yes, as soon as a movie drops in theaters and Disney owns it, they also play it on all of their ships. So that's a plus that you actually get to do it because if you just get lucky and a movie came out around the time that you're departing, more likely, they're playing it on your ship and you'll get to go see it. Um, when you go to the movie theater, even though you don't have to pay to see the movie, the concession stand is not free. So just keep that in mind. When you do go to the concession stand, you will have to pay for the soda, for the souvenir. I couldn't say that right, but you get what I was trying to say. The souvenir cup, which we did get a BBA souvenir cup and uh, the popcorn. They do have your normal concession stand stuff, popcorn, candy uh, for adults. They do have alcoholic beverages, but again, that is not free. That is not included in your ship stay. You do have to pay for those extra stuff. Um, Another thing that I will tell you, and another tip aside from Ziploc bags to keep your snacks, uh, some people do say carry a cup. Um, we didn't necessarily use the cups only because, I mean, once we had soda upstairs, like up at the ship on the decks, we didn't really drink after that because... Yeah, I'm not big on drinking a whole bunch of soda, but the one thing that I will tell you, if you're not willing to purchase a water package, which they do have for sale on the boat, make sure you pack bottles of water. We did, prior to boarding the ship, had a couple of bottles of water, so that's what we drank in our room. Um, but if you do order water through room service or upstairs, you're going to have to pay for the bottled water. So they do have water packages, but if you want to save a couple of money, it is cheaper to bring water on the ship versus purchasing water on the ship. Another thing I will tell you is Disney is known for its magic, for lack of a better word. You will see literally from the moment you enter the ship to the moment you get off, every single worker is filled with that special Disney magic like I can't say it enough I have worked in marketing before and 
from the moment we received our itinerary in the mail, which was very detailed, very neat, and very themed, to the moment we stepped foot on that ship, you can tell Disney had something to do with that. So kudos to Disney because they ceased to amaze me. Everything was remarkable. Um, but also, theme-wise, your door to your stateroom, it is magnetic. So we didn't know this. So prior to going, I didn't do this. So that's why I'm telling you to do this because the next time I will do this, the next Disney trip, hopefully it's sometime soon. But the next ship that we go on, I will be doing this. So most state rooms, which you can tell these people have been on Disney trips before, they're like vets because, yeah, there were a lot of doors. I think we may have been in that 10% that didn't have anything on their door, but for the most part, 90% of the ship did it. So most of the ships, most of the doors on the ship. So these people did customizable magnets. So your door is a big magnet. So most of the families either had their family name. Um, each family may have had a Disney character. If they were celebrating a birthday, they had birthday themed Disney magnets go up on the door. But for the most part, everyone decorated their door. So that is something that I will be doing next trip. I will be customizing our door and it's very nice it's just a nice flair um and a nice touch to your room and your vacation the kids love it I mean we even enjoyed walking around looking at the different things that some of the families came up with to put on their door so it's a nice touch to add to your trip as well as what we didn't know and which I will change is the pictures we didn't know that pictures were that big on a cruise ship like I thought, okay, you know, we take our own pictures. Maybe we take one family picture and that'll be all. I was wrong. I repeat, I rarely say this, but I was wrong. Um, pictures are a big thing on the ship. Like literally every night there was a different theme. Um, aside from the parties that they have and then everybody dresses up on the parties, which we'll touch bases with after this. But for the most part, people dressed up theme wise depending on the theme of the boat for their pictures so you had people in gowns uh, taking their family pictures where the entire family dressed up the mom and dad were dressed up in black tie kids were even dressed up decked out it was just phenomenal and we were just walking around in our like summer clothes like oh so people really take this serious but for the most part, we will do that differently next trip. We will literally pack clothes if we do. Because at first, when we first went on the ship, you know, we don't need pictures. We won't do it. Don't fool yourself. We said the exact same thing and we ended up buying a picture package. Well, we made it a book. So don't fool yourself. If you're going to go, they're going to convince you to get the pictures. And it's not even someone that is hassling you to buy the pictures. It's not that. It's just literally you see the quality and you see how the pictures come out. You're going to want to get the pictures because literally they don't do it on purpose, but they try to capture every moment. So every night at dinner, because there's a different theme, they're going to take your picture around the boat at the different parties. They're going to take your picture. How you know that they know that it's you and they get it to your room, we have no clue because literally one day we were on a deck party on the top deck and they caught a picture of my husband and my son. They didn't ask us for a room number, none, none of that, and it got to our room in our in our picture. So we have no clue how they know, but Disney knows, and that's what makes them Disney. So if you think that you're going to go on their cruise and not buy pictures, sorry, you're sadly mistaken. It's going to happen. So why not be prepared if it's going to happen? So I would say always bring a change of clothes, whatever theme you may um want. Our... Uh, our ship, the Disney Magic, it didn't have a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It didn't have a required attire where we had to dress up, but for the pictures, most families did dress up. They didn't necessarily dress up for dinner, but they dressed up for the pictures. So that is something that I will change the next time that we go. I would like to have a formal family picture. So that's something that I will remember to pack in our suitcase, um, Another thing, like I said before, were the theme parties. So we did have a pirate theme party. They had a 
Star Wars night and that's the night that we actually saw the Star Wars movie but for the most part most parties have a theme and they do sell costumes on the ship but it's probably cheaper for you to purchase your costumes prior to the ship so when they mail you your itinerary they'll let you know what type of party it is on the itinerary they'll say pirate night or star wars night or whatever night it may be it depends on the ship and when you leave um but for the most part if you purchase your costumes ahead of time it is way cheaper than purchasing the costume from the store on the ship um just think of it as if you were to find a nice um, pirate costume at Party City versus a pirate costume that you would buy at the Disney store. Most of the prices on the ship are priced like the Disney store, which is quite expensive. So you'll be better off purchasing a costume or anything pirate related or anything related Disney related for the ship. It's cheaper for you to purchase it outside of the ship prior to you going on the trip versus purchasing it in their store because again things can be pricey for the most part you may want to you know buy one thing for a keepsake which we did do but for the most part if you want to dress up every night which we will be doing in the future you would want to purchase your costumes and everything prior to doing that another thing that we would do differently I talked about changing my room I talked about the pictures, what we would change. Um, and then for the most part, I would just literally enjoy it. Um, when you go on vacation, you think about just laying out and relaxing. But literally, there is something for you to do every hour. And parents, don't be alarmed. You do not have to stay with your child 24-7. I know that sounds bad, but you literally don't. Like Their system and security for you to track your child on the boat is phenomenal so they have different clubs depending on the age of your child so they have daycare for babies um I don't think they take baby babies like infants I do know they take I want to say six months and up just double check with that but I believe it's six months and up that they do care for and then you have that so six months to about five years old that's one area then they have six years old to about 10 and then they have the teenagers room so our son is seven so he stayed in the oceaneer club is what they called it each child will get a band as soon as you go on the ship and that band is connected to your room you do have the option parents to give your children buying privileges if I were you I would not do that because that means literally they can go anywhere on the ship and purchase something just by tapping their bracelet if your child is anything like my child you don't want to do that because you would get a bill at the end of your trip and you're like what the heck so we didn't give him buying privileges but also with that bracelet he can check himself well he wasn't able to check himself in and out I believe once you become a teenager you're able to check yourself in and out of the clubs that they have for you but for the most part we checked him in and then if we wanted to check on him we could just want go to one of the clubs and they can tell us exactly where he was on the ship so it's like a little tracker for the kids and you are able to um track your child and then you can always ask them hey you want to come with us for the most part our son never wanted to come back with us we had to force him on his birthday because the cruise was to celebrate his birthday we had to force him on his birthday to spend time with us because that is literally how much fun he had at the ocean air cup the people that they have monitoring the kids and keeping them occupied again it is disney people those children never want to come back. They don't want to sit. Not unless the only time he really wanted to be with us is if we said we were going to the pool. Other than that, he wanted to be in the Ocean Air Club. And it was fine by us because we got to enjoy the adult side of the ship. So for the most part, parents, you will be able to relax. For women, they have spa services. For the men, um, they do have like a little sports club. They have a sports bar on the ship they just have a lot of things for adults to do for you to get away from the kids when you want them to just go play so enjoy it you spent your money for it go I will tell you though the spa services again the alcoholic beverages unless you buy an alcoholic package but for the most part those extra services 
do come with a price and you can prepay those before you go on your um, trip or you can just pay them on the ship you can just add them and then it'll be charged to your card at the end of the ship but for the most part you can pre-book those just for budgeting wise like me I would what I did was I budgeted for the trip so I knew what I wanted to do on the ship and what I wasn't going to pay for so if you budget and you see it ahead of time you can book it ahead of time and then you budget wisely so you can have that money and you're not overspending on your budget when you actually go on the ship. Another great thing that we loved, and especially for a family, whether you're going in a huge group or a small group, they do have an app. So they have the Disney Cruise app, which everybody knows when you travel overseas, you can't use your phone. Not unless you want to get international charges, which I'm not about that life. I'm not paying extra. But when you use the Disney Cruise app, the Wi-Fi on the ship is free. Only for the app, though. So you can't access anything else but the app for free. They do have Wi-Fi packages, but like I said, the family that we set with, they purchased the Wi-Fi package because they did have to get some work done, and they said it wasn't worth it. Like, literally, if your emails are running in the background or... If an app is running in the background, it eats that data up and you end up spending way more money than you intended for not really doing what you wanted to do. So the Wi-Fi package may not be the best route to go, but for the most part, we didn't have to use it. We used the app and within the app, you can communicate and chat. It's like an I am messaging. So if I ever got separated from my husband or if my son ever got separated from us, which for the most part, he didn't, but we were able to message each other Um through the app because of course text messaging wouldn't work through then so the app was a nice little extra tidbit on the ship but for the most part those are the only things that I would change and the only tips that I would say I'm one of the people that is pro Disney cruise like I will do it again I'm literally looking into the Disney vacation package because the cruises are included in the Disney vacation club um that's something that will be explained to you on the ship if they have that course or that little workshop on your cruise I always say look into it takes the time I believe it was only 30 minutes out of our day for the most part so it's not that big of a deal it's not going to take that much time away from your vacation you can actually take it on one of the days that you're at sea but for the most part it is worth every penny I repeat don't get alarmed of the price if you can budget and plan we planned it a year in advance so it's not a big hit to the jugular it's worth every penny I would do it again I'm planning on do it again um, I'll probably try a different ship just because I want to try a different ship I, I would do the Disney magic again I had no complaints about the ship but I would want to try their other ships um, I believe the one that we went on on the Disney magic is uh, the more recent ship but I would try their other ships just for the heck of it but for the most part enjoy it it's worth it the kids are gonna love it adults you're gonna love it food is included just remember those tips sort of kind of know what you're getting yourself into if you're pre-planning buy costumes ahead of time um, purchase water before you go on the ship because again they don't give water so literally after five days of being on that ship all I wanted was water because one you're not gonna drink water out of the state well at least I wasn't and you don't want to live off of soda I mean you did get water at dinner but it's only a couple of glasses while you're eating dinner you don't want to fill up on liquid so for the most part buy water ahead of time pack ahead of time do pack for the parties pack for the pictures trust me you're gonna get looped into purchasing the pictures I got looped in purchasing the pictures but for the most part you will enjoy every minute of it like for the most part I don't think I want to try another cruise line. I've heard that other cruises are better, but not better. They're just as good, but nobody has that Disney flair to it. So if I'm taking a family trip with my child, I'll probably sort of kind of lean towards the Disney cruise only because I know what it's about. And again, I thought it was worth every penny. I would do it over and over again. I just love Disney, so 
What can I say? If you have any other questions that you want to ask me in reference to the Disney magic that I haven't covered in this video, by all means, leave it in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to get back with you on that. But look into it. Trust me, you won't regret it. Have a good one, guys, and thank you for watching.